everybody. Thanks a lot for tuning in. This is a new series on my channel. I'm so excited about it. It's going to be really quick videos, quick little tutorials on how to use some products that you might think, oh my gosh, you know, how would I pull off that color? And just show you some ways to make it more wearable. I know this is very subjective. What's wild to some people may not be wild to the rest of us or what's wearable for someone might not seem wearable for everyone. But if nothing else, hopefully this just gives you some practical ways to put um, a seemingly not so wearable product to use. And so the thing I want to talk about today is this e.l.f. HD blush. This is in a shade called Diva and it is hot pink. And let me tell you, this is really, really pigmented, kind of liquidy, creamy stuff. It can be a little bit hard to work with. Definitely something you want to use in a controlled way and build up little by little. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So I start off by shaking up the product a little bit and then just um, pump out the tiniest amount you can get by with there. And then on my hand, I just kind of swirl it out so I can stamp my small stipple brush in there and get the uh, bristles really evenly coated. And then I also blot the brush off just to get rid of any excess product. You can always add more to your cheeks, but it's hard to take it away. You pretty much have to start over. But then I just start stippling the color right here on the outer part of the apple of my cheeks with this brush. And once I've got it stippled on, I kind of like using really, really light pressure and circular motions just to go over this blush and kind of blend it outward. So again, for the other cheek, just tapping into the product, blotting off, and then just stippling onto the outer part of the apple of the cheek and then blending lightly. And you're gonna probably have a lot of color left over on your hands, but a little like eye makeup remover, if you have that handy, uh, can take it right off. Now this blush is just like pure color on the cheeks. There's no shimmer in it. Um, we have taken that color and sheared it out quite a bit. But I think if you wanna make brighter blushes even more wearable, you can add a little bit of a glow to the look. And I just think it makes the whole finish seem a little more skin-like, a little more natural. I'm actually experimenting with a little here that I want to review from uh, Becca and it's called Glow to Go Shimmering Skin Perfector Trio. And so I'm going to use the shade called Opal and it's just got a little doe foot applicator here and I'm going to do very much the same thing I did with the blush. I'm just applying a little bit of that to my hand. I've done a very quick cleaning on what was a very pink small stipple brush and I'm just going to dab into this. I'm going to dot this right over where I put that blush. And I think the sheen that this gives is just so healthy. And something that I love is that it gives you that really great glow that just you sort of pick up on it once your face hits the light, but it's not a, a glittery product. And that's really all there is to it, guys. Those are my tips for how to take a really wild, hot pink, creamy, liquidy blush like this and make it wearable. I hope this was useful to you. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what other kinds of products you'd like to see in this series. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.